Hello, Hapro Horsham community. I'm Dr. Sky Levislog, the superintendent at Hapro Horsham School District for another episode of HH Insights. To ensure our juniors and seniors are successful in moving forward with their post-graduation pursuits, we thought it would be helpful to talk with Ms. Marcy Verano, a guidance counselor at Hapro Horsham High School, and junior Ali Randa. Hi, Marcy. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you for having me. We appreciate your time. Uh, first, can you tell us a little bit about how the landscape of college admissions has changed during this time? Absolutely. So the landscape is more dynamic than ever. The policies seem to be changing quicker than ever. Um, the general landscape, it depends on the day, what, what it looks like as far as what our students can expect and what they need to do. Great, thank you. How has the trend been with uh, the role of SATs and ACTs? Has that differed not only uh, pre-pandemic through now, and it has it changed at all through the pandemic? So pre-pandemic, more and more schools each year were becoming test optional for the SATs, ACTs. And since the pandemic, even more schools have gotten on that train and are continuing to say that they're going to be test optional moving forward. So I think that's a plus for many of our students. However, we do have many students where the standardized test is an asset for them. So it really depends on each student how they can look at that change, but it's something that's just another option for our students in the whole big picture. And how do you recommend students prepare for the SAT or the ACT? So I think the very best way for a student to prepare is to do really well in their classes here at school, to read as much as they can, to follow the lead on their teachers in, in all academic areas because that's the best preparation for the SAT is your regular schooling. And then beyond that, there are SAT prep courses, there are free online sources, and guidance counselors can direct students where they are. We also have the students taking the PSAT as a preliminary test for that um, here at school. So those are all things you can do to prepare, but the number one thing to do is read and to pay close attention in all your classes. The college process is uh, such a large process. It can be overwhelming uh, for families and I know that having gone through that with my, my own kids. Um, what should students consider when they're discovering what colleges would be a good fit for them? Okay, so the very first thing I, I feel is most important is conversations at home. You need to be on the same page as a family on you know what's a realistic plan for each child. And then the school where your partner in that and the guidance counselor can meet you wherever you are in that planning process. So we here like to start that conversation in ninth grade. And then every year when you're choosing courses for the following year, we like to talk about what your goals are post-secondary, what your career aspirations are. And if college is something that can help you achieve your dreams, then that's, that's when that college conversation comes in. So we, that's our main goal is for students to have a post-secondary plan that is appropriate and it's in aligns with what the family is also supporting. And then we can talk about college as one of those steps if that's what's necessary. There's a lot of uncertainty through this process. What, do you, what about students who are not sure what they want to study, uh, where they want to go to college, or if they want to go to college? Uh, what, type of, what tips do you have for students in that boat? So my first tip would make an appointment with your guidance counselor. That is exactly what we are here for and that's what we really enjoy doing is helping our students kind of make sense and, and make a plan for themselves. Um, we'll be in the process of course selection this week and throughout the month of March and that is at the heart of every conversation is, is let's try and help you figure out where you want to be and we'll help you get there no matter what that goal is. And where can students and families find uh, the resources about uh, scholarships and other opportunities to help um, financially offset school? So here at Hapro Horsham, we house all that information and guidance through our Naviance platform and also on our Canvas page, with, which our kids are so familiar with. And then beyond that, we can recommend outside resources, college board websites. There are many other search engines for scholarships. And then the colleges, they're our partner in helping kids attain their dreams. And they too can lead students in the direction of financial aid scholarships. So we have a lot of different resources. And how can students portray their best selves through this process? To be themselves. I mean, the goal in finding the right college is you want to find a place that you're home away from home where you can be your, the best version of yourself. So in the entire process, we really encourage students to be themselves. 
and what they need to portray are their strengths and what they can offer the college because the college is looking for students who are going to make their campus better and continue their fine traditions. So for our students, we encourage them to take rigorous classes, to challenge themselves, to take advantage of all the wonderful activities we have here at school, and um, to really put their best foot forward each day in their classes because there's nothing more important than their transcript. So much has changed uh, through this pandemic uh, with uh, college fairs, visits, all looking a little bit differently. How can students demonstrate interest in colleges and universities uh, through these unique times? So students can demonstrate interest virtually. So whether it's reaching out via email to a college admissions rep, attending one of the many virtual fairs that are coming on the horizon in the ne next few weeks actually, and then um, doing virtual tours. So if you go to any college website right now, they are being very creative in ways to help students better understand their campus and, and their offerings. So to, to be active online in that way is really beneficial and, and very important. And then colleges are reaching out via email more than ever. So reading those emails, responding to those emails and offers and, and all of those virtual opportunities. There are a lot of college campuses that are opening up in-person tours. So if that's something that you and your family are comfortable with, then that's something you can take advantage of as well. But that changes by the day, depending on the circumstances in our communities and on their campuses. So it's really important to use the school's websites to, to see what they are offering and what you, you're comfortable doing. But there are many opportunities no matter what's going on. Ms. Verano, thank you so much for your time, for offering this gui your guidance and these tips for our Hatters to help them through this important process. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'm joined by Hapro Horsham High School junior, Allie Randa. Thank you, Allie, for joining me today. Of course. Where are you in the college uh, planning process? I'd say I'm like pretty much in the beginning. Um, I kind of got a list of colleges that I'm interested in. I'm still trying to find out exactly what I want to do like major-wise and you know, just trying to like reach out to colleges, see stuff like that, and go to like um, tours and stuff like that. And how has that process gone so far? It's going pretty well, you know. Um, I like to like plan everything out, so I'm like just going through all like the financial aid stuff and like how much it would cost, dorms, like the college kind of life and stuff like that. So it's going pretty well. And have you been able to go on any college visits or take any virtual tours? And where are you with that process? So as of right now, definitely haven't done any in-person um, college visits. I plan to soon as long as it's safe. And uh, online wise, there's like a lot of good resources, especially like big college fairs like nationally. So I try to utilize those. And then also like they'll send out e like specific colleges will send out emails very often and I'll try to like get in on that too. And what have you considered uh, about colleges, specific the colleges themselves before uh, deciding to apply? So definitely the kind of things that I'll be able to do like after the college, like if they have like good like internship opportunities and stuff like that, or like staff is like really good with helping out, financial aid, and then just like how the college is in general, like the things around it. Is it like more city college? Is it more like out in like Lancaster or something? Just like how I feel like I would fit in with the, like the life that they have there. And as you're going through it, do you have any tips for your, your peers or your uh, our younger students who may be going through this soon? Yeah, so it definitely seems very like daunting and stressful, but you just kind of got to jump into it. Um, utilize your guidance counselors. My guidance counselor is Ms. Sorcelli, and she is so helpful. Um, and you just, you might feel like you like don't know what you're going to do, or like it, it doesn't matter. Like just kind of think step by step. Like what kind of college do I want to? Do I want to go to a city? Do I want to go somewhere rural? Do, like, what kind of things am I interested in? Like, do I like science? Do I like to read? Do I want to be a teacher? Just, like, think about, like, where you see yourself in the future and then try to find somewhere that can help you out to get there. That's great advice. You mentioned your, your, your guidance counselor. Can you talk a little bit about how you've interacted with your guidance counselor through the process, how you plan to, uh, either your counselor and or the guidance department? Of course. So, like I said, my guidance counselor is Mrs. Sorcelli, and she's amazing. Um, I reached out to her about a month ago, and I was like, should I take an SAT? Like, what should I do? Like, where should I be in the college church right now? And she's just like, let me set up a meeting. You know, we'll talk to each other. We'll, like, kind of hash some things out. And so we set one up, and she was so, she was amazing. She was just helped me figure out, like, what kind of college I wanted to go to, what kind of things I was looking towards, and then, like, what 
colleges were contacting me. She helped me like weed out the ones that I should be looking at or which ones weren't really worth it. And she, she helped me like kind of block things out. She's like, in a, about a month or two, we'll get together again. We'll look at like where you teach a recommendation or um, just like different college visits or what we should do for your essay, uh, for the essay, um, just like what topics we should cover. So she's definitely helping me like every step of the way and it's been super helpful and really like decreased the stress levels. That's great, Ellie. This was terrific advice. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time uh, to speak with me today and share your insights with the community. I uh, wish you the best of luck as you go through your college planning process. I'm sure it'll work out well for you, so thank you. For any students who need assistance in the college planning process, please schedule a visit with your guidance counselor and they'll be happy to help you through this process. We know it's a big process, but they are there to help you and they will guide you through it along the way. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Dr. Scott Eveslog, Superintendent of Schools for the Hopper Horsham School District, and I was pleased to be here today to share these insights.